Okay, let's talk about the names of triangles. So you can see here, I have three triangles. I'm gonna, uh, of course, go over the names of these three triangles here, but I have three others. So we're gonna look at uh, the six basic triangles in geometry that you need to be able to associate a respective name to. So this particular triangle, a matter of fact, if you know the name of this triangle uh, and these little uh, notations here on the sides of the triangle indicate what type of triangle it is. So if you know the name of this, put that in the comment section. Then of course I have this triangle and this little notation right there is indicating what type of triangle this is. So this has a, a specific name to it. And then this particular triangle doesn't have any notation, but just by the appearance of it, we can um, name this type of triangle as well. So this is three of the six I'm gonna go over. And if you know the uh, names of these three, go ahead and put those in the comment section and we'll see how well you do here in just a second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this uh, video. But uh, if you are frustrated in math right now, maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough math instruction or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's uh, teaching style, whatever the case is, I've been teaching math for decades. I really try to strive on teaching math uh, in just bite-sized pieces so anyone can understand. And I really focus on teaching math in a clear and under, uh, clear and understandable way. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you succeed. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, so I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, have a fantastic homeschool math program. And if you need some math notes, uh, don't panic. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in mathematics, you must absolutely take great math notes. Okay, so we're going to uh, cover these three triangles and uh, three more. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm just going to show you all six of these triangles, and then we'll kind of get into how we define um, how the name matches uh, the shape. All right, so this first triangle, okay, and this is no particular order, but these are the first three that we looked at. So uh, the answer for this one <clears throat> would be an equilateral triangle. So this is an equilateral triangle, which means that all uh, the sides here are equal, okay? So this little uh, notch right there on the side, this is indicating that it's this length is congruent to this length, and both of those lengths is congruent to this length, i.e., they have the same sides. Now, another way you could uh, see an equilateral triangle, you may not have that notation. You might be actually uh, given, let's say, um, the actual sides. You might get like three, three, and three. And uh, here you say, oh, okay, all the sides are equal, so equilaterals. That's our first one there. Now, the equilateral triangle has something in common with this other one that we're going to be looking at here, our last triangle. That's the equal angular, equal angular uh, triangle, but we'll talk about that in a second. So let's move on to our next uh, triangle. That is a right triangle, okay? Very, very important triangle in uh, geometry and mathematics, and it's indicated by this little box down there. And that box, okay, that little tiny box in the corner is saying that this is a 90 degree angle. Now, one thing you need to know that in um, all triangles, the sum of the angles, in other words, this angle plus this angle plus this angle, any triangle you have, all these triangles that we're looking at here always adds up to 180 degrees. But in a right triangle, one of those angles is 90 degrees, and it's indicated by this little mark right there, that little box, okay? So right triangle extremely important triangle in um, geometry. Now, for some of you out there, you might be familiar with the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. That relationship only applies to right triangles, not these other type of triangles. There is a uh, another type of uh, theorem called the law of uh, sines and cosines that we can uh, applied. That's a little bit more advanced mathematics, but this right here only applies to right triangles. That's why it's important to know these names or be able to recognize what type of triangle based upon the notation. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this next triangle. This is an obtuse triangle, okay? That's the name of it. And uh, the reason why it's obtuse is one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. One of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. So this right here, 
you know, this is a 90 degrees. It's like a perfect corner on a square. So if you got a triangle that has an angle uh, bigger than that, like this right here, that's obtuse. Now, there is another uh, name that kind of goes the opposite with obtuse, which would be um, acute. Okay, an acute triangle. Now, it's not on here, but it's something that you uh, want to know anyways, is a triangle where all the angles are less than 90 degrees. So maybe like an equilateral, uh, this one that we're going to be talking about here in a second. Uh, but obtuse, again, one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. It's kind of funny how we uh, use some of these names too, like, uh, you know, there's an adjective. You could say, well, that person's obtuse, which means that maybe they're kind of, you know, dull or maybe they're not, you know, you know, someone's saying they're not too bright, <laughs> whatever the case is, you'll hear this uh, word used in other uh, ways, obtuse, just as you use the word acute. Okay, oh, I have acute pain, sharp pain. Well, the opposite of sharp is dull, right? And that's what obtuse is. Okay, so let's move on to our next triangle. That is the scaling. Now, what do you think makes the scaling? I'm trying to kind of draw this uh, in such a way where you kind of really kind of see what's going on. But what do you think makes the scaling triangle a scaling triangle? Okay, well, if you look at it here, hopefully you're saying, well, it doesn't look like uh, all three sides are different lengths. Well, and that's uh, if that's what you said, that's exactly correct. So a scaling triangle is where all three sides are different lengths. Okay, now, even though you might have an obtuse triangle and the sides are different lengths, it's more appropriate to, to uh, call like an acute triangle with different lengths scalene. Okay, scalene triangle. All right, let's move on to our last two. And our next uh, one here is going to be the isosceles triangle. Okay, so an isosceles triangle is where two sides, not three sides, only two sides are the same length. And so this would be like the base and this would be the sides right here. Now, uh, interesting uh, enough is on a isosceles triangle, the base angles right here are congruent. So when you're studying triangles in more detail, we can study different things about isosceles triangles, right triangles, equilateral triangles, etc. So again, you know, you need to be able to put a name on what a particular type of triangle that we're uh, looking at. So isosceles triangle, two sides are congruent. All right, and this leads us to our last triangle, and that is the equal angular uh, uh, triangle, and all three angles are equal. Now let's just do some algebra here. And so if this is x, and this is x, and this is x, and I know that uh, x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees, what is the angle of an equal, what is the actual angle measure of these angles? Well, this would be what, x plus x plus x, 3x is equal to 180. I divide both sides of the equation by 3, so x is equal to 60 degrees. So an uh, equal angular uh, triangle, the angles are 60, 60, 60. And over here, uh, for equilateral, it happens to be, uh, uh, it has the same property as equal angular. So uh, they are both basically the same triangle. Okay, so you have same length and same angles. Okay, so this is basically uh, the whole point of this video was just basically to get you to know these names. Okay, it may not seem important, but it definitely is important because you know, when we talk in geometry, we're talking about particular shapes and figures. We go, they go by particular names. And I can almost guarantee you, if you're going to be taking any sort of test, uh, a very common type of question, even on standardized tests, is name the triangle, okay? Like, which is the isosceles triangle? And, uh, or they might show you an isosceles triangle, and then you'll have to know something about an isosceles triangle. But if you show, if they show you a triangle and you don't even know it's an isosceles triangle, well, then you're going to be in trouble. But uh, hopefully this was a, uh, you know, you didn't find this difficult. I don't think this is uh, hard. But um, if you didn't know this, well, then hopefully now you do. And if this video helps you out in some small way, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math, all the way up to calculus. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of the, uh, my videos that I make because I make them for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.